Bill brought up a great point about uh, something I did on vacation, and we're heading mm-hmm. toward vacation. And yes, I, we I are. I told him what I was doing, and he thinks I'm nuts. So we'll get into that a little bit. We'll talk about football. We'll talk about uh, the Chinese doing their little space program. We'll talk about uh, Madonna. <laughs> Madonna, who's like turning. Would that into... be any more condescending towards all of China? Oh, your, your little space program. Yeah, it's uh, cute. Well, uh, l- listen to Anthony's take when we get I just, back. Yeah, Anthony's going to save me on that issue with it. They got a yeah. cute little space program going on. Yeah, see if and, I showed up on time and uh, right, you'd right, have heard exactly. that in the office. Where are we going uh, with this show? You want to talk about uh, the shark thing, really fast? What's the shark thing? Well, uh, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to do a little scuba diving. Uh oh! Stupid. Hopefully, uh, stupid. Hopefully, no fights will ensue. Yeah. But I was I was uh, hanging out with Bill Burr yesterday. We were watching football with uh, with Ben. You city guys discussing getting to work on. You time. just you just call on the cell phone. Hey, meet me down at uh, O'Leary's or something, and you go down and you watch the game or something like that. Yeah, it was and a we cool socialize joint. and we leave. Socialize. We leave our homes. God, that's got to be something. It, it was a cool it's a joint. city thing, though. It was a cool no. place. No. No. thing. I live on Long Island. <laughs> I know, I'm like Raymond. I don't want to do it. Too long. Got my parents next door. <laughs> <laughs> I never hang out because you guys are here in the big metropolis, and I'm out in the suburbs. Well, you should come in and hang with us. It was uh, it was a good time. We had fun. And then uh, I was uh, telling Bill I'm going uh, scuba diving, whatever, and that's when Bill goes, what would you say? I don't want to. I don't want to. I did. I think I just said that. No, I just started asking you questions. No, you, you were, already knew I was against it. No, but you were freaked out because you're like, not as long as you live under my roof. <laughs> you were against it. I know, right? It was really parental. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just telling you right now, Opie. I don't approve of no, it. But how did the conversation go? Because you go, I, you know, I would never do that. And I said, I'm like, why? And you're like, well, there's things in the water that are yep. bigger than you. Oh, and... yeah, that's why I don't go in the ocean. Okay, that's Everything what in there is bigger than you and can swim faster. It can kill you. We're king shit out here mm-hmm. on land, exactly. in the air. We're the top of the food chain. Occasionally something gets screwed up and a lion grabs someone, but for the most part, top of the food chain will kick any animal's ass. If you give us a gun. Yeah, yeah then we are. A gun which we built and fashioned as a weapon, you know. Sorry, yeah, I, you I don't have the opposable any, thumb, Shark, but... I wasn't trying to take any know. credit away from us. He started defending humans. God. Which we fashioned. <laughs> we, we came did. up with that. We didn't we, steal that we, from any other animals. <laughs> that was 100% ours. We have documentation. Right. God was very sharp when he uh, limited the, the handout of the opposable thumb. At what just point do you think the occasion? first caveman realized when he looked out of the cave and saw shit flying around or running around like, dude, i, I got to get a stick. Yeah. I got I, I need, absolutely I need something. Something probably attacked him, and he's trying to like punch it, and it really wasn't panning out. Yeah, he might have lived through that and say, you know, next time that happens, I'm gonna carry this with me, a little club or something, or a big rock. And then you start pummeling, and then fast forward a little while, and uh, nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. <laughs> I mean, yeah. pointing at all your enemies. Big, pretty big progression yeah. there. Melting the polar ice caps. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Bill doesn't like the ocean because, yeah, they're bigger and faster. And we're not king shit down there. Once you you leave the earth, uh, the uh, uh, outside air, it's over, Johnny. And I love the water, and when I'm in the water, I do feel like "Ah, I could maybe handle myself. But now that I... No. I, I talked to Bill. I, I don't have a shot. Dude, when I, when if I go, a shark is coming. Nope. When I go to the, the the beach and I look at all those people, or drive by the beach, I should say, all the drive people by. Yeah. in in the water. The it's just you know what that's like. It's like you know you have a, you have a fish tank at home. You just tap the little cap, the little bait, right on <laughs> right, top of the right. surface. That's what those fucking people are. And they just come up and bloop bloop start yeah. picking off. Yeah. God, that's a great way to look at and it. And I I have absolutely no fucking sympathy unless your plane crashed. Are you trying to, like, escape Cuba or something? Right, right. There's no reason to be swimming in the ocean. So you don't go there. swimming at all? Not even quickly? Not even up to your waist? I mean, I mean, I mean, you're also dealing with the fact, man, I think if I could get it some sort of a tan, <laughs> I think I would, you know, maybe I would look at the ocean a little bit better. But yeah. Nah. How do you compare that to, you know, walking around the streets of Manhattan? What, going in the uh, water? Yeah. Scuba yeah. diving? Yeah, human going into the water with uh, faster creatures and bigger creatures around. Uh, white guy, uptown, weekend, two in the morning, um, money hanging out of your pockets, just blurting out the N-word. Dressed like, uh, <laughs> you think it's that bad? Yeah. <laughs> think it's that Think bad. about it, dude. I mean, you're, you're white basically... White guy that doesn't work out, money 
falling out of his pockets yeah. everywhere. Acting a little drunk. Convicted just, of race crime. Picture on the front of the post <laughs> that day. <laughs> right. Yeah. Somehow eludes the authorities. And that is equal to white guy just going in. No, the acquitted. Ocean. Acquitted of race crime <laughs> that he clearly did. The Absolutely. rioting has already begun. Right. And you walk down there. Yeah. And See? That, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> right there. Oh, man. Yep, that's it. And that's equal to just jumping in the ocean for a little Absolutely. That's, that's equal to, to being eaten alive while drowning. <laughs> wow. That's what happens. You think your mask isn't coming off when they start thrashing around? So Bill goes, so just to move forward a little bit here, so Bill goes, you know, there's, there's, they're faster and they're bigger. You know, there's sharks in there, basically. I yeah. go, and uh, and uh, actually it was Lindsay. Lindsay goes, uh, well, we already scoop, well, we already snorkeled with sharks. And Bill's eyes just went boing, like what, what? So I, I I tell the story, which seemed very normal to me. But then, you know, we discussed it all the way home. By the way, Bill, and uh, damn it, I hate you now. I absolutely don't like Bill Burr. They yeah. fucking, there's, they, they, there's I, all these sharks at the bottom of the ocean. Well, yeah. So they all jump in the thing, okay? And then immediately the sharks, what'd you say? Well, the sharks got curious. Well, let me back circling. Let me back up because you had a good point about this, too. The, the guy's kind of, he's, he's, he's a little genius over there. Bill Burr is Horse. very, very smart. So we're going <laughs> snorkeling. Don't swim with sharks. I'm a brainiac now. No, but you bring up good points. We, so, uh, you know, I, fuck, hundreds and hundreds of people listening to this right now have snorkeled. You snorkeled, Anthony. So yes, I went I on this. Have. I went on this snorkeling trip the last time we had vacation in the Bahamas, and uh, you go to two locations, and they they drop you in. It's like, oh, look at all the pretty fish. It's like you're in a you're in a fish tank. Uh huh. See all the nice colors. The fish are maybe the biggest fish you see is as big as your fist. Tops. They're, they're all colorful all and color nice. Color and pretty. nice and. So we got, you know, we got two sights in us, and the, and the third one was going way out in the ocean. It's like the Nemo cartoon, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All Com- colorful and cute. Comes to yeah, life. the first two times. That's what they do. Yeah. They stick in these nice little I things. I forgot what yeah. you said, and I hope you remember, because it was, it was really good at the and time. And then they put you in the ocean. I said, it's basically like you take a couple of self-defense classes, and then they drop you in Rikers. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Defend your asshole now, buddy. That's it. Hey, you did great in the... Uh, in the dojo for yeah. a couple of days. And a uh, couple of crescent kicks. Right. <laughs> Get ready, kids. I, I look really stupid in less than five minutes here with what I said to Bill. So, yeah, you do the two cute little, uh, you know, snorkeling where you're in a fish tank. And then, then we go way out. And it's like, okay, it's time to snorkel with the sharks. Oh, boy. So they, uh, they throw a line out. That's Not even tanks. So if something goes bad, you could stay under there and maybe fight. Like sea no. hunt, yeah. sea oh. hunt it out for oh, a while. Yeah. Find that one rock that you can hide behind. Leagues under the yeah. sea. Yeah, yeah, you can hide behind the rock. Remember, they yeah, used to no, do no. that. Hide and watch the shark swim by. You're with a snorkel. Great. Your yeah. whole range of motion is a foot and a half. Right. <laughs> Even when you know what you're drowning. Doing. Jacques, and Jacques Cousteau's kid got eaten by a shark. Right. Philippe. Young Philippe Cousteau. Think that fucker wasn't in the water since he was five? Yeah, probably since he was an infant. Probably mm-hmm. one of the he was probably best born scuba in the water. divers. Do you know the word scuba? Do you know who invented the scuba tank? Jacques Cousteau. Jacques fucking Cousteau invented the fucking concept of bringing air down there with you, mm-hmm. a- and all self-contained. And uh, his son winds up getting eaten by a shark. So we're in uh we're in shark area now, and they throw a line out, a big rope, and you're there with all the all the fat tourists. So it's got to be safe, right? Everyone knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. So uh, they they tell you to go into the water very softly. Do not make a make a splash. You know what that's about? That'll attract the shark. Why? Because we... you sound like a wounded fish. And <laughs> right. yeah, see if you make a splash, they might come up and eat you. Right. It picks up on their sonar. He actually paid to do this. Yeah. And then uh, they tell you to take off all your jewelry because that's very shiny in the water, and that could attract the sharks. Yeah, it's like a lure. All of a sudden, you're just a big fishing lure that you. Right. Cast into the water a few times. The captain of the boat was one of these Yaman type guys. You oh, know. it's all good, it's man. It's all good, just smiling away. And his assistant, I forgot to tell you this, Bill, and I, I'm not lying, was maybe 14 years old. Oh, yeah. 14 years old. Yeah. Because whenever you go to those countries, there's so many, like, you know, regulations and stuff. Oh, that safety is uh, paramount. Hold on. That's down what I'm there, I mean. yeah. That's the punchline. That's what I'm getting at. So, uh, 
Yeah, and the 14-year-old, is they're just bringing him up in the business. You know, he's a kid, and eventually mm-hmm. he'll be the captain because that's all they do down in these islands. That's what all they could hope for, you know, and they're in paradise, and eventually you run one of these uh, snorkeling boats, I guess. So, so it was time to go in, and we all carefully go in, except for the fucking people that don't listen again. And you know what happened last time when people didn't listen in my life? Yeah, the underwater uh, scuba dive, uh, scuba diving fight that I had uh, a few years back. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't cause any problems on this uh, particular trip, though, Anthony. A fight with a Frenchman. And that's a story for another time. Mm-hmm. So uh, we all go in the water nice and softly, except for a few people that just kind of cannonballed into the water because they were too busy chatting when we were getting the Im- important instructions. And then we all hold on to the rope. People are, uh, there's other people laughing at, at me because they've actually, you know, dived with sharks. I, I understand that. So then you hold on to the rope and you you throw your mask in the water and you see uh I guess they were reef sharks 6 to 8 feet at the bottom and what the what they do Anthony they 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 put a um a feeding box down at the bottom of the water like 40 50 feet below a feeding box so the sharks are uh, attracted to uh, all the fish in this feeding box or whatever whatever and don't they go into some sort of feeding frenzy oh yeah ah, the called? feeding frenzy oh, yeah. so you see and i'm not lying man 20 or 30 sharks easily there's a lot of sharks i'm like mm-hmm. holy crap this is really cool and i thought it was really cool until the sharks started slowly but surely circling up to the surface cuz now now they're very curious is curious the word they're very curious don't they have brains that like um pretty much are eating and uh making well, little sharks yeah they're eating machines matt hooper said yeah all right they're eating machines all they do is yeah. give birth and eat yeah right so so i don't think curiosity i don't think the shark's going what is that yeah it's just hey guys you want you fuck. want to investigate yeah right, right. let's look no in the shark mind it's fuck that or eat that right that's not curiosity right so so I'm holding on to the rope, and now the sharks are slowly circling up to the surface, getting closer and closer. And according to Lindsay, who was on this trip with me, um, one shark was like less than three feet away from me, and my my knees were up in my chest like I was in the fetal position holding on. Because now mm-hmm. you see the sharks like circling up, so now what you want to do is make yourself look as small as humanly possible. So yeah. what do you do? You, you kick up your knees as high up on your chest as possible. But that basically means it's smaller than the next fat tourist next to you. Right. Of Be course. the smallest guy. Of course. So, uh, and uh, Lindsay thought that was funny until she looked down the line and saw everybody was doing the exact same thing. Now we're kind of freaked out because, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty damn close. When those island guys that run these things uh, saw Lindsay... They probably wanted to dress you in a seal costume <laughs> and just throw you in the water like that with, like, raw meat hanging from you. No, this is the best you can possibly. It's the safest, man. It's a nurse shark, man. They yeah. don't bite. Let your girl stay up here on the boat for a while while you go in the seal costume. Are you sure this is okay? Perfectly safe, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drive okay. away and leave you like in open water. All cumbersome in my seal outfit jumping into the water and the shark infested. Oh, shark just pounds on you. I'll be back in a few minutes. Before you're even dead, the boat's pulling away. Let me make sure you're okay, <laughs> darling. So, uh... All of a sudden, uh, the, the, the captain of the boat goes, uh, we better, we, we better all get back on the boat. Meaning it's getting a little crazy out there. Yeah, a little crazy. And he's like, uh, take your time. Don't make any splashes as you're leaving the water. Everyone is getting out of the water as, as fast as they can because they've had enough. Like, wow, this is a little, this is a little crazy, right? So we all get back on the boat. Key to the story, about 100 yards, maybe 120 yards away is another snorkeling boat just doing a little snorkel in the area. Hmm. Have no idea that we're doing the shark thing right there, because I'm sure they're not telling them that. Look at the puffer fish. Oh, yeah, they're just looking at puffer fish and cute little Nemo. <laughs> hey, I just saw Nemo. So, uh. I'm gonna feed him some crackers. <laughs> right, exactly. So. Meanwhile, right next to him. I'm not even kidding. The, the Indianapolis sinking recreation. Oh, it's unbelievable. Dude, unbelievable. Like, they're not. I know they're not telling this other boat, because you, you'd be freaked out if all of a sudden there's like, oh, by the way, over there, they're looking at sharks. You right. You know what I mean? And you could tell by how they were swimming around the boat, they were just doing a regular snorkel. So, uh, we all get on the boat, and then the captain's like, you, you guys might want to get your cameras out for this. And we all get our cameras out, and, and he goes, you want to see something really cool? We're like, yeah, of course. Everyone yells, yeah. So they start throwing, like, you know, fish parts and chum into the water. Oh, my God. These 
these sharks just went into a complete feeding frenzy right off the side of the boat, jumping out of the water, grabbing pieces of... Uh, <laughs> I got the pictures. I should bring them in, actually. These no, other no. douchebags oh, yeah. are like 20 yards away snorkeling. Yes, yeah, snorkeling. Yeah, about 100, maybe 120 yards away. Is that red coral? <laughs> right. So the sharks just losing their minds, just, just chomping away and just going at the food they're throwing in, right? So I tell Bill this whole story yesterday. He goes, why, why would you do this? And I'm like, well, my logic is that, you know, they do this every day down there, so it's got to be safe. Right. That's that the only is... thing I can come up with. That's the, but logically, that's, when you do some of these crazy things in life, that's the, that's what kind of gets you through it. You're like, well, come on, if it was that unsafe, would they be doing it every day? Yeah. You know, the bungee cord jumping and the parachuting and all that. You got to think, okay, mm-hmm. they do it every day. It's got to be safe on some level. And that's when Bill brought up that, they don't have the same regulations as they have in America. He goes, you not. think you could do the same fucking thing in, in American uh, water? Yeah. You know, there'd be all sorts of rules, regulations. And one would... of the first ones would be no chumming. <laughs> right. Yeah. People yeah. 20 yards yeah. away. Shards and... Exactly. There would be all sorts of laws and stuff that they would have in no. place. And I'm like, God, he, he's right. In these little stupid vacation little little islands, and when they have their own rules. They don't have to answer anybody. When their entire economy depends on people doing this, do you think it's widely reported when bad things happen down there? Oh, yeah. That's it's, it's horrible for uh, tourism. Yeah. yeah, of course. So I'm sure if you you know you look it up, you'll find uh, a lot of people getting eaten or just really fucked up. Right. Yeah. Breaking their necks, doing that stupid parasail thing. Right. Well, I did that too. Oh no, the parasailing. No, stop it. You oh. won't catch me on that. I did that. No, 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 no. That was a little crazy. You time. did that too. Oh yeah, I did the parasailing. I could never That's do silly. that. I would just be thinking of Jaws too when they had that underwater shot of the water. Oh yeah. 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 No. So I'll swim it. in a lake, man. That's it. I won't. You know. Lakes are scary. They are scary. Yeah. Lakes are scary. They're dark. Because they don't give deep. up their dead. Remember? Right. The cold water, the pirate <laughs> down there. That's right. right. They don't give up their dead <laughs> because of the cold water. Uh, well, yeah. They don't. They just don't float to the top. Arr, right down to J- Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> but Bill Burr brought up that good point. Like they have these their own little laws on these islands, and uh, you know. They don't have to. They don't have to listen to anybody. They just assume it's going to be okay, you know. Yeah. They're like, ah, we've been throwing chum in the water for years. Ah, one guy got bit, so we're we got good odds. So we'll continue doing it this way, you know. There are places you're relatively safe. Like there's a whole safety. Uh, I don't know. You could probably graph it out on your daily activities. That's when called you're, Europe. When you're sitting at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you're driving. Uh, visiting relatives, like just everything. There's this like safety factor, the green zone. Mm-hmm. And then there's the red zone where things you do that was like, all right, this is definitely I'm taking my life into my hands in to some degree. And I think diving with sharks is uh, pretty far in up In the middle there. of a feeding frenzy. Right. As they're chumming in the water. That's probably up there in things that could get you really fucked up. Well, Rob in Seneca Falls, and I've been on more than 100 dives, and even when we have encountered large 8-plus foot sharks, they have no interest whatsoever in divers. Bubbles, tanks, two flippers, etc. scare the hell out of them just about every time you see them. Never see a diver get uh, eaten or a big chunk taken out of his leg. It's just never happened, right? Right? That guy? You've just been one of those lucky guys. Well, when I've gone diving, you know, every time just before we jump in the water, you always got some cowboy on the boat that's in charge of the dive going, and hopefully today we'll see a shark. And I'm sitting there like, well, hopefully we won't. Just lose my mind. You know, I just want to go down like, you know, 75 feet or whatever, maybe a little more, and just hang out. That's what that's what I like. I want to see the fish. The only thing I want to see if hang I'm out. snorkeling is the fish that yeah, you can buy out. at Petland Discount. Like those type of things. Oh, look, a neon. Oh, look, it's an angelfish. A kissing garami. That's all I want to say. Let's, Nothing bigger than that. Let's say hi to Jason in Arkansas. Jason! Hey! What's up? Oh, man, my first and last open water dive took place down in Destin, Florida. We went about five miles off the coast. It was supposed to be a uh, tugboat slash a, a jewfish uh, dive. I had no idea what a jewfish was. Guy said it was a grouper. I know what grouper look like. They're not that big. 
Uh, not? We get. Wait, no, groupers I are mean, huge. You know, some giant well, groupers. Yeah, when when they get really huge and and older, I guess they call them Jewfish. Anyhow, we get down the line. There's a whole gang of us there, dive masters there, and everything. And we get down and and circle around the the tugboat, and there there presents the the big 500 pound Jewfish. I mean, it's just fucking monstrous. He's it's saying Jew. Lips. The lips are so fucking huge on this fish that it it. it I, the only thing I could compare it to, and I have never seen it, would be Ben Pog just wrapped around the mouth of this fish, right? So we get down. We get down. The fucking fish, we get up close to it. All of us get up close to it. The fish singles my fat ass out, like, looking at me like, hey, what the fuck are you doing down here? And starts following me around the fucking tugboat. Not everybody else, just me. And I start to panic, and the fucking dive master comes up, looks at my rig, says, man, you need to go back up here. Spend, expending too much air. Yeah, he's sucking too much oxygen in. Oh, my God. It, it panicked the shit out of me. This big 500, I was 375 when we were doing this, and maybe the fish was a little intimidated. I don't know. Like, hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I want to lay one into this guy or something. I don't know. But I started going back up, and that was it. Scared the shit out of me. Never been diving since. And it's a Jew fish? It's a, it, they call it a Jew fish. Why? It's a great big, I don't know. It's just a great big, I guess when they get older and just gigantic, they call them Jew fish. Huh. Two fish and group are the same thing. All right. Thank you, Jason. Thank Just you. the horror, the terror of having to, like, punch a fish <laughs> as he's coming at you to try to defend yourself in that environment. It's not like a dog. A dog's just trying to bite you. This thing's trying to eat you. Trying to eat you. Yeah. Oof. No. No? Sorry. Feel the water around you getting warmer with the heat of your own entrails. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even defend yourself because you can't see the fish through your own blood in the water. Oh. But he sees you perfectly. <laughs> and oh. fish, fish vision. And there's no way in the middle of that panic you're not thinking, why the fuck did I come down? There's no, no reason for me to be down here. No, sheer panic. It's great down there. I love it. It's like a paradise. <laughs> it's, it's, and other scuba it's cliches. Like a, it's like a paradise. You know what I like going down uh, down south oh when God, I go I'm to not Florida? Doing that. I go to Florida and... Uh, I like that uh, they stick and discontinued it, but uh, the Captain Nemo's sub at Disney. Oh, you're in the sub. They're plastic fish on fishing line floating in the water. Oh, they finally discontinued that. Oh, it's you know that's the type of fish I want to see in that kind of. I safe actually went on that like ten years ago, thinking it was going to be a cool ride because you're at Disney. And it stink. You're like, what the fuck is this? And then you see the people walking above you. They We're don't... now um, descended. To a depth, we're going down to a depth of uh, uh, two thousand leagues under the sea. And what they do is then they bring the sub, which never really goes underwater, under this waterfall, right? So that all the windows you look at get these massive bubbles. You're not uh, under the water at all. No, the thing never goes underwater. No, no, the the boat itself basically, you almost it's like having this this shitty. Uh, cabin on like a cruise right, where you're like literally under the water underwater line. yeah yeah the, your windows are under the water line but the rest of the sub is above it's not watertight right, right, it's right. not you know it's not a real submarine you're on a track that keeps the sub at the same depth all the time right, right, right. all you have to do is look out and you just look up and you'll see that you're well, literally no, a foot under no matter the water. how deep they say you were going you're we're now uh, twenty thousand leagues under the sea and and they'll turn the lights down so it's darker and they'll show like glow in the dark fish on these tracks where they just swim in circles. Right, right. It was horrible. Well, I uh, I was taken out of that game because uh, after they said, you know, we're twenty thousand leagues under the sea, or whatever, two thousand leagues under the sea, you hear. <laughs> yeah. You hear the muffled voices of of kids above you walking by. Yeah. Kind of takes you out of it. <laughs> it takes, it takes you out <laughs> of it. Kind of ruins the illusion. All right. I understand we weren't 2,000 leagues under the sea, but could we go down maybe a half a 20 league? feet, maybe? <laughs> right. Jesus. Why don't you give us a little effort here? Not Wait, even how, asking for a full league. Right. How tough is it to make a 10 foot pond that you can maybe dip us into? Plus, like, <laughs> places like Six Flags and all of them just totally caught up with anything Disneyland had and just blew by them. Yeah. To the point they're killing people. Yeah, yeah. Literally killing people with their eyes. All right. Every time I go to Six Flags, something fucked up happens. Yeah. I will never go on one ride over there. Somebody's always stuck like 600 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. This the ride is closed. 
Yeah, the, <laughs> the safety bar didn't work, and they flew out on a 90-degree turn at 60 miles an yeah, hour. There's a big yellow tarp over their bodies. And like, okay, <laughs> we're just going to use this All side right. now. And they put that the happy, smiling, closed for maintenance, waving guy <laughs> sign in front of the line. <laughs> I don't think so. As some poor worker is uh, you know, hosing your remains down. Put a mourning family with blood on them. Oh, sitting yeah. there. This road's closed. Some this five-year-old road ride. flew out of the teacup. Yeah. <laughs> Paled on the Main Street sign. Closed for maintenance. Let's say hi to Jeff in Texas. Jeff? Yeah. What's up, Jeff? Oh, man, nothing. Just uh, I got a little dive story for you guys. I was going to tell you about some, some damn Jewfish down here. Okay. We uh, And they are, in fact, they were called the Jewfish for a long time until uh, I guess the, the Jews started screaming about it. Now they're called Goliath Grouper. Oh, uh, okay. But anyway, they are huge. And uh, we were diving off of Port Aransas. And a friend of mine, we are down, I don't know, about 150 feet. And we're down there shooting amberjack and whatnot, and he gets sucked in. They just in. I don't know if you ever seen a bass like a, like a tape of a bass, how they suck in the lure kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. They just sucked in the diver, and this son of a bitch's fins were sticking out of this fish's mouth, and he's kicking, and the fish just spits him back out. That's, and we go. That's how big it, the fish was. It's it's like the size of a freaking couch, man. Yeah, I just huge. <laughs> No, he's not kidding. Look, here's a here's oh, a. Oh man, this that's is how big. big these things get, Bill. Look at this. Look thing. at pull up. Uh, let me think of that. I can't remember the site. No, we got a picture of a, uh, a, a, a whatever you call it, an oversized grouper. There, it's a, it's at least six four. Why are these pictures from like 1935? I don't know. Me and my uh, adventurers were off the coast of Madagascar. Well, they got the those, natives. They got, <laughs> they got those groupers in that tank at Atlantis that are pretty big. Yeah. They're, right. they're bigger than us. All they're right. crazy. All right. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Love the show, boys. Cool. Could you imagine being sucked in and then the grouper has to, you know, spit you out real spit fast? Spit you out like You know what I loved about that story? Gravel. Is that Jewish people complain, stop calling it the Jewfish, and the shit got done. How, how are they so organized and, like, the American Indians can't stop us from doing, like, the tomahawk chop and, like, woo, yeah. dress around? I don't think we take the engine seriously the enough. Redskins. They and can't get that shit changed, but some nah. fucking fish. The in the middle fish. of the ocean. Don't want to offend the fish. That's awful. You need to stop that. It's very offensive. The Jewfish. <laughs> the ADL would be calling you. <laughs> then the shit's over. All right. ADL. JDL. Oof. I'm throwing out some wacky... Uh... I, I bought it. I did you? It. Yeah, I bought into it. No problem. All right. confident. Yeah. I did. Ass. <laughs> 